was the good guy. Welcome to the Zolika Trainer video. This is quite literally the only trainer you'll ever need for Grand Theft Auto 5 going forward. There are some features in Zolika's trainer that you simply will not find anywhere else, as well as features you might recognize. You have your typical teleport options, vehicle spawning options, pet spawning, and so forth. But when did your trainer let you drive on water? Will he land? Oh! <laughs> Oh, dude, that is awesome. If driving on water wasn't enough, how about controlling every single light and lamp in the entire game in real time? Like I said about those familiar features, of course we have a weather system all the way down to time where you can change the year, day, hour, minute, and second. Of course, you can also freeze the weather as well as the time and so much more. Another very cool feature that no other trainer has is the ability to let you scale the size from height, width, as well as its physical, literal positioning on the screen. You don't want it there? Move it here. With a couple clicks and clacks of your keys or whatever controller, you can change the text size even. Menu don't let you do that. Of course, you do have your classic and standard air brake mode which in and of itself has its own adjustable settings as well. You can turn on key binds from here. You can turn on all kinds of select little nuances without ever having to close the game and relaunch it yourself. And of course, yes, you can always change your player model with the Zalika Trainer. Now here's another one of my favorite aspects of this particular trainer is all of the different car options that come jam packed in here. There's even a feature that if for whatever reason your engine just stops working, even if you repair your car, you can literally revive it from the dead. So you can spawn a car, save it, and then automatically repair it. Or say if your engine dies, you can force that thing back to life. Like I already mentioned, you can even change the color of the dirt that your car accumulates. It's that detailed, folks. Now, another cool part, of course, you can open doors and close everything just like any other trainer. But can your trainer do this? Warp forward, we can set the warp distance and warp forward and backwards. Hell, if we wanted to, we could even start detaching parts or make our car look like it's burnt. Now we can start detaching those parts like I mentioned. Wheels, bumpers, fenders, windshields, anything you think that can come off of this car, this can literally run it till the wheels fall off because you detached the wheels. It's that down to the details, folks. And I gotta say, man, you can't do that. You want to change the seat you're in? You can do that too. Helpful. So special, special God mode. What the hell is that? This section again covers the basics like wanted level, ammo, weapons, and things like that. A speedometer on. Oh, look how fast we're going. Air brake off. Give health. Give armor. Full ammo. Full clip. Increase our wanted level. This next section is crazy, and I've never seen this in any other trainer. Unload MP DLC maps. Oh, damn. Load multiplayer DLC map. Times wasted counter wall hack. Oh, my goodness gracious. Okay, so we can just see every uh, coordinates display. We've got camera location display. Okay, let's go ahead. Frame rate display. All right, car wall hack. Enable that. Oh, bruh. Damn. Uh, working only type model hash. Levels, uh, if it's dirty or not, what color it is, what livery it's using, respite timer, what gear it's in, how many gears, how many RPMs, how much fuel, if it has turbo, <laughs> engine temperature, pop up light state, light status. Okay, I think we just broke the game. <laughs> distance from player, distance from camera, entity type, pointer. All of these features just to look at vehicles running like in your vicinity. That is nutty. Object wall hack. Okay, you're gonna break the game, bro. You're gonna break the game playing around with this one. Okay, I'm turning this off. We've already broken it. We can't. We can't even see the menu. Slap your mama. So another thing we have control of is the camera with the free camera mode. We're gonna touch on it here in a bit, but this is an example of the field of view. We can also play around with car recording. We can hop into a vehicle, hit record, and then it will record your car's actual driving. And at any point, you can always play it back with or without car collision detection on live playback. Shot me. 
hit start recording, and uh, I'm assuming it's recording. Okay. Now we're going to go to stop recording and start playback. Oh, cool. Okay. Dang, Franklin riding dirty. Now, like we mentioned earlier, the free camera mode gives you complete control over the camera and is easily going to be replacing whatever mod or script I use to take phone, uh, screenshots. This thing gives you complete control over the field of view, the zoom in, what direction you want to go, the amount of increments you can move. It's completely changed the way I look at making screenshots or just wanting to get a good view. If you haven't already just downloaded this train already, here's a good option. Here's a good reason why. Legit real time control over realistic reflections. The click of a button, you can see we've got clarity and definition at the flip of a switch inside of the game itself. We never had to once leave to install any graphic mods. It does it all on its own. Another feature is the object spawning. Okay, just like in it, it's gonna replace menu for you, just like it replaced menu for me. I can spawn these objects in, and they're also going to be listed on a list of spawned objects. I can go ahead and respawn any object I've already spawned, and I can select it from a list of things too. Now, another cool thing is I can move it up, down, forward, left, back. I can even place it on the ground. I can change whether or not it is a dynamic or static event. So dynamic means I can push it. Static means it ain't going nowhere. If I wanted to, I can even clone objects. It's just that simple. Now, during the initial recording and gameplay with this trainer, uh, pet spawning became a thing. You can even spawn them in with weapons, like this little kitty cat here. That cat's got a freaking missile launcher, dude. Now this is by far my favorite feature, the LSD mode. You know that scene where Michael gets tripped out on LSD and has fallen from the sky having an existential crisis? Yeah, you can now experience the entire game in that mode. Oh, wow, this is amazing. Shoot, Zolika even went as far as to include their Patreons in the help section as well as a link to their own Patreon page. So please feel free to support Zolika. Tell them very high I sent you. And until the next video, guys, I am your friend in the GTA V sphere. If you want to know how to install this trainer and do a little bit of configurations, then stick around because the tutorial is coming up next. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Bye bye. What the fudge crackers, bro? Welcome to the Zalika 1351's trainer installation tutorial section of this video. Go ahead, make sure you download the file, but don't forget to like, follow, and bookmark your favorite mods on GTA5Mods.com. Take a look at the description and get familiar with some of the hotkeys that you'll be using to run this. Now, all we need to do is install. Once you have your files downloaded, you're going to need to navigate to your main GTA 5 directory. Go ahead and select all of the files from the Zalika Zeman UV download and drag those straight into your GTA 5 root directory just like so. Once they are installed, you're going to want to locate your Z menu v configuration file it looks just like this and should say configuration settings in the type tab go ahead and double click on that what we want to do is we're going to change a couple of key configurations if you take a look down you'll be able to notice uh tons of customizational options now we're going to take a look at some of the different key binds So for instance, we want to look at the air brake toggle at yeah, 117 and the menu toggle itself is 118. If you don't know what those numbers are, those correspond to keys on your keyboard. If you look at the very bottom of the document, 
there are a list of all of the equivalent codes just down here. So we wanna change our launch our toggle keys to something else. So me, I'm going to change my menu toggle to 119 and I'm gonna change my air brake toggle to F3, which is 114. So we're gonna go back up to the top here. We're going to locate our toggles down here in the key bind section. So for me, air brake toggle menu, I want that to be 114 for F3. And I'm going to make my menu toggle 119 for F8. You don't have to follow me. I'm just showing you how I did it. And that is all you need to install the Zalika 1351 trainer for GTA 5. And feel free to play around and break this as much as you want. Next video, we will be going over some more features. And I'll even show you how to set up some of these toggles to have your own custom keyboard shortcuts to toggle some features and effects from the Z menu V. Until next time, I'm very high guys. Stay safe, stay dangerous, and don't ask me, ask the one on GT5.